on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Alright, first order of business. Key training. What? No! Fitness? No. Weight training? No. Um. Uh. Surviving? No! Well, the most important things to say in. Our tales? No! Our names. What? Yes. I must choose a fitting saying name for you. Yes, this is an honor. You're welcome. Couldn't you just call me Vegeta? No. No, no, no. You have not earned that. I have to earn a name. Yes. Hmm. Now, let's see. A fitting name for such a weakling. Ah, Sunshio. What? Sunshio. Uh, okay. Do you like it? Well, I will. Good thing it doesn't matter and it's not up to you. Okay, now we can start with the training. In which, yes, this is when the Tim Monster training begins as... Izuku getting more accustomed to being a Saiyan is a lot more difficult than... A lifestyle change. For one, he's a lot quicker to anger and to starting fights when it comes to school. Meaning, he fights Bakugo more often, pretty much. Though he does get his ass whooped, he does get slightly better since Bakugo isn't trying to kill him. No, no, better. Just... Mm. Yeah, well, as a kid, you make it so stronger, you yeah. know. But then, once the whole Saiyans being quick learners kicks in, this is when the ass kickery goes on the other side. Bakugo is utterly helpless. Izuku isn't even using key yet. If anything, he's just beating Bago's ass with his bare hands, feet. Hell, he's using his tail if he has to. As long as he makes sure Bago doesn't learn about it being his weakness. Because if that happens, it's game over. And there's this whole thing with the moon and all that. Which Izuku does know about. He's just making sure, like, yeah, I'm not looking at a, a full moon ever again in my life. <sighs> or at least, I had the memories. <sighs> oh, that's so sweet. Continue with your training, boy! To say King Vegeta is a hard ass in comes to training is an understatement. He went from being the king of Saiyans to getting one shot, which Izuku still doesn't know about, to pretty much siring a weakling that can barely even pick pick himself up from the ground, but fly at all. So then, yes, this is a completely uh, different experience for him. He's used to being top dog other than Frieza and his underlings as well as you know Beerus and Whis. But other than that, yeah, he was top dog. So Izuku being as nice as he is that slowly starts to decline with each and every lesson as well as the more sane he becomes, the less agreeable, more stubborn he can be, the more ready to fight he is. And him being a quicker learner now, more than ever, and that's saying a lot considering it's Suzuku here, his tactical mind is actually getting quite a boost. 
like how Piccolo during the Android saga actually called a, you know, Vegeta a genius when it comes to his strategy. Yeah. That's Izuku. But now it's boosted. <laughs> so yes, Izuku, he does get buffer. He gets more cut. Everyone knows that at school. Bakugo, now that he gets his ass whooped, whenever he starts some trouble, he doesn't even want to really mess with him. I mean, how the only real reason why they actually stop being friends is because the bullying, no quirk, yada, yada, yada. Not to mention the big ego that Izuku, as well as the people around Bakugo, helped him gain. But being humbled by the same person he ridiculed, yeah, that's a different feeling. And whether no one else knows about it, when it comes to his appetite, it becomes more and more ravenous. To the point where it goes, we're going to go broke if you keep eating like this. Izuku having no choice but to really hunt. Which is a good training for him, just terrible for the environment. When it comes to his key training, oh hell, that's a whole nother monster. Though King Vegeta does want Izuku to inherit the throne and everything, he refuses to let Izuku use the Gala Gun or any of his other techniques. The only thing he does let Izuku really know about that is ultimately usually his or for anything. We don't really see say any other sayings besides the Vegeta, you know, just use it. It's pretty much the Powerball in which they make an artificial moon. Izuku, thinking this is too dangerous, is no, 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 this is just a last resort, just in case whatever you're up against is a little too much. Are you sure? Yes! Trust me, boy. A last resort. If there isn't a full moon, or it gets destroyed. What? Wait, wouldn't that have drastic repercussions? I mean, maybe. Yeah, if only you had Namekians here. What? Oh, Namekians. You see, we actually have this interesting power to actually make wish granting objects, uh, orbs. Pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, if only I wasn't lackeys to Frieza and the other. Wait, what? Nothing. I'm just saying, I probably would have uh, wished for eternal life. Man, who knows how my life would have ended after that. Huh, that's sad. What? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, you'd live forever, but then you'd have to watch as worlds die. Your family, friends, <laughs> friends, <laughs> and family. I barely even acknowledge anyone besides my son. Not even his brother and his mother, they... I... Wait, what the... What's happening to me? Huh? What do you mean? Why am I getting all sentimental all of a sudden? I... I, I don't know, maybe because you have someone to talk to about your feelings? No, it's you! Uh, what? You are corrupting me. How would I be able to do that? I don't know. You're the one doing the corrupting. It's called expressing your feelings. Yeah, I don't want to do that. If anything, it makes you look weaker. That that cannot be. That cannot be a trait. For us. That is not something we do. <laughs> Here's it. If we cry, we will punch ourselves in the face. 
we have our pride to think about. No one is allowed to see us cry, see us weak, unless it is seen as a, you know, us being bested by a formidable opponent. Seriously? Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. You cry a lot, don't you? Huh? Don't lie to me. Don't play dumb. You cry a lot. You're a pathological crier, aren't you? You're a sensitive bastard, aren't you? Don't tell me you're really a cinnamon roll broccoli. Is <sighs> what? Nothing. I just got chills. <laughs> Of a decision I made. You know. <laughs> You're talking about Broly, aren't you? Don't speak his name. I mean, look, he's dead. But as well as his father. But oh. He will destroy everything. That power level of his. It didn't just rival my son. It was far above. The, the, but I, I don't know. I, I uh, Vegeta. Yes. What? It seems as though you're scared. <coughs> what? You're scared, and you're hoping that Broly's dead, as well as his father. So. That they don't come after us. Or at least you. Or anyone else. I thought so. So is he really that dangerous? Well. I can destroy a small planet. By myself. If he were to live as long as I have... <sighs> Solar systems. Universes will be at risk. One thing's for sure. Due to our quick to anger, short fused nature. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Him showing back up would be very problematic. Right? No, I do kind of... Uh, though, it probably would be better if I did allow him to at least, you know, try to curb those tendencies. It's just... You can't help what you are. Yeah. I mean, heck, I was quirkless. You still are. Th th this, this is not a quirk. R r you remember that, right? It it's not a quirk. It's like, right, right, right. It's not. But still, I was powerless. But now, thanks to you, yes. Uh. If anything, is, uh, let's go, uh, do some relaxing a little bit. What? I mean, no use in, uh, tiring yourself out before the whole interest exam, correct? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I think you're capable enough. You can know how to fly. You can at least summon a basketball sized key blast, right? That should be plenty. But your martial arts skills are top of the line. Thanks to being able to 
what's it called again? You have access to the what? Oh, the internet. There it is, yeah. Hmm, so many martial arts styles to learn. It's quite something. As, yes, Izuku actually gets to rest and he's like, okay, something's going on with him. But it's probably nothing. Hopefully, nothing. On the day of the interest exam, Izuku is hella smart. Like I said, his brain's brawn got a boost <laughs> compared to how he was in canon. So, yeah. He aces the whole thing around what was happening. The practical exam, when he starts destroying robots, he starts getting flashes of King Vegeta's life. How he was brutal, ruthless, merciless to anyone who stood before him as an enemy. And he pretty much crushed any resistance. But what makes this more terrifying is Zuku is starting to see that he's actually performing these acts. He starts to see himself in King Vegeta as he starts to rip and tear through robot after robot. Everyone is seeing this raw power he's using, but... It's not only impressive, it is scary. Because with each and every destroyed robot, it's pretty much like he's enjoying it. Not for the whole fact that, like, okay, this is fun, this is a good workout. Like, I'm enjoying causing all of this destruction. He gets so into it, so immersed into the sheer brutality that is not only the memories of King Vegeta but this exam he starts to levitate and destroy buildings street at the street is starting to get destroyed whether there's someone there there there's robots there right now he's just firing a plenty causing explosion after explosion he ends up actually hurting some students well, potential students. To the point where almighty's like, I have to do something. Like, no, no, wait. This is when the Zero Porter is summoned. And Izuku seen the scale of it. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. You know what? As yes, yeah, someone does get trapped under some rebel. So, why would you pick on someone your own size? Izuku creating an artificial moon and looking straight at it with a demon like devilish smile as he slowly starts to grow in size, his tail just wagging as though this is the best thing ever. And for long, he's a full great ape. Everyone is shocked at this. All my say, Nezu, what have you done? Nezu just, hmm. Let's see what he does. As Izuku starts rampaging towards the zero pointer, not even caring whether there's anyone that could get stomped, crushed, or, you know hurt from the rubble he's causing to the point where he's just about to step wait right him looking down and seeing someone's hurt no uh, why wait what am I doing as yes, he gets sunk by his zero pointer. But instead of going down, he moves forward and pushes it on his back, scooping up whoever was, you know, <laughs> under them. 
and it starts running. Hmm. Seems like he has a battle lust. What? Oh yeah, so something that happens when you get too into the fight. It's dangerous if uh, if it goes unchecked. But it looks like he was able to snipe himself out of it. He even saved someone in the process. Are you sure you want him in this school all night? I, uh, I don't know what that was. Well, he did, but yes, yeah. Hmm. Well, he certainly has accumulated enough points, but we are going to deduct points for all the needless destruction he caused. Plus, deduct points from all the students he did end up hurting. Hmm. He won't be in first place, but at the very least, he can still attend. As, yeah, Izuku, he's still stuck as the great ape. It was, aren't you going to change back? As soon as that moon disappears, I can. Can you... Stop it? No. It'll last for quite a while, so I know I'm stuck like this. Huh. I heard the green giant. Wait. Are you King Kong's descendant? <clears throat> what? I. No, I. Uh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is Izuku actually blushing? Is a... Oh, did I strike a nerve? Are you embarrassed? Uh, I, um, I, uh, <clears throat> either way, I'm sorry for everything I. Just looking back at his carnage. Please forgive me for what I've done. Okay. Uh, really? But I... Listen, you seem very remorseful for what you did. So, just holding it over your head is... Kind of... Messed up. <laughs> uh... How could you be so nice? Well, the world's not nice. Unless you can find a way to change it. Why not lead by example? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, just don't step on no one or sit on them. But is that really the only way you can, you know, shift back? Is if that, wait, artificial moon? You can eat a moon? Uh, yeah. Well, oh, generally only full moons are supposed to be able to turn me into this, but I could create one out of the energy I use. Oh. Wait, so this could happen if you look at a full moon. Correct. So, you can't just do a quick look like this and stop saying, no. I actually, it actually uh, happens as soon as I take a peek. Huh, kind of like a werewolf. Uh, yes. Except with, you know... Less hair. Oh. And not to mention, I'm pretty sure Werewolf's tail does not look like this. As well as, hmm. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Please stop busting my balls. 
Uh, that depends. Do you plan on doing this again? Not unless I have to. It was meant to be a last resort type thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, interest is am. Does not count as a last resort move. Uh, classification type need. You're right. I. I apologize. Good. <sighs> Man, but you say sorry a lot. <clears throat> I'm sorry to regret saving you. Oh, don't say that. Don't be such a jerk. You know you care. Do I? What's stopping me from crushing you right now? Because you like me. I don't even know you. Exactly. Uh, uh, <clears throat> whatever. As then, yes, the artificial moon dissipates after so long, and Izuku slowly shifts back to normal. Him being very upset is then he's like, "What are you guys looking at?" Him looking where they're looking, he's like. I did not expect you were carrying a second tail. Oh, uh, wait, please don't look. This is not what it looks like. Everyone pretty much, girls are blushing, trying to look away. Guys are like, what the hell do you feed that thing? Like, uh, Izuku wanted to fly away, but then they see everything. So, he's, recovery girls robots just shield him with a blanket. I'm walking away, try just hiding his shame. Everyone, like, why? He acts like he's never used that ability before. Huh. Well, I guess I should have warned you about. Well, we should have prepared for such a. D eventuality <laughs> oh this sucks man what's wrong everyone saw me well not everyone be grateful there weren't you know news cameras but I was naked everything they saw everything especially that Smart, smart mouth girl. I uh, can't deny. I, for some reason, I feel attracted. Uh, I, I guess. Huh? But I'm. Trust me. It happens to us saints. We. We're more drawn to strong-willed, powerful, stubborn women. But if anything, as long as they're not complete pains in the ass, you know, like, if anything, they should be overly controlling. If they want to be equal, they, should, they shouldn't try to be better. We should have started making false rumors and... Are you alright? Yes. I just... Whoever's narrating this shit is allowing his personal feelings to show a little bit too much. Huh. But if anything, if the woman is feisty and strong-willed, chances are you want to tap that. What? Where'd you hear that from? Well, the internet. Yeah, don't, don't, don't say that again. 
please. What's wrong with it? Nothing in particular. It's just, it's weird. Just, oh, come on, son, chill. Stop calling me that. It is your Saiyan name. Be proud of it. It just sounds weird. Can't you just call me Vegeta? Say, no, that's my son's name. Wait, now that I think about it. You said you had two sons. Why, why do you name your son after you? Uh, well, he's first born and, you know, the heir to the throne. So it would only be fitting to give him my name to carry on. Huh. And again, considering my the planet's gone. Planned Vegeta is no more due to that tyrant. Frieza. Yes. I can only hope that my son isn't a slave to this monster. I mean it. Frieza is not one to be trifled with, and he is a terrible person to be on the, the thumb of. Well, at the very least, you should continue your training. And, uh. Yes. As, yeah, Izuku is pretty much okay. He's. He's, a. Uh, this seems to be a very touchy subject for him. So I won't uh, bring the thing up. That's it needed to be. But you know she does arrive with some fresh clothes. Um, I don't think the hero costume I made for you is gonna cut it. Uh, oh yeah. Oh right. Yeah. That. No. 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 Last thing I need is uh, is to use that form and if yeah as then training continues many ways Izuku trying to gain more control over his battle lust while King Vegeta is pretty much again quiet Izuku doesn't understand why he suddenly decided not to say much but at the very least, ooh, count your blessings. But now we cut to the first day of UA. Is it cool? He's more or less. <sighs> I can't believe this. This is actually going. This is actually happening. I'm actually going to the school of my dreams. It's all because of you. No. You've earned it. Yeah. I I guess I did. It's gonna make leaving so much more. What? What? Leave? Wait, what do you mean by leave? I've been preserving my energy to the point me and you become one being. However, this was your body to begin with, and your soul was here first. Think of it as me as a virus or something to be integrated into you. Wait, are you in pain or anything? Of course not. I just... It feels weird. Like... I'm going... To, I'm taking a nap or something. But... Every time I do, I... Find it harder to wake up. 
and I'm, I, uh, you're scared? No, no, we, I, I don't, mm, Saiyans don't, it's, it's okay to be scared, you, you know that, right? Is it really? But you seen as weak. Yeah. It's okay to be seen as weak sometimes. At least around people you trust. But I'm a, a king. But if people see their king as weak, you're not a king anymore. I am, and right now I'm the only Saiyan here. You are my predecessor. You should be comfortable around me. You can express your feelings if you want. I'm not going to force you. But just know, I don't care if you start tearing up. Or whatever. Whatever has you pretty much down in the dumps, you are free to talk about. I am not here to judge you. If anything, I will be more than happy to be your support. <laughs> I can't believe this. After all I've done, countless worlds I pirated from their inhabitants. Sometimes I didn't even give them a chance to even pack up their belongings. I just annihilated them. My son, Tarbo. I sent him away just because he was too weak. I cut myself off from my wife and only spent more time with my son because of how powerful he was. <laughs> Why? Why was I like that? Is, is it, was it because I was a king or was it because I was a Satan? Both? Or... Was it because I, I was scared of how people would see me? See, King Vegeta, I, it's okay, go ahead, keep talking. I am scared. And I wish I could go back in time and fix what, all the mistakes I've made. I should have tried to make peace with the truffles. But no. I would everything and it could be because of that we had to rely on that tyrant here under his thumb for years we didn't, we were content with being servants to him I talk about pride. <laughs> Where was my pride when I... <laughs> when I bowed before him. A king. He sure as hell wouldn't show me the same kindness. The same respect. Should have fought back, even if that meant dying. 
but no. <sighs> I'm sorry, uh, Isuku, I... Wait, what did you say? Did you just say my name? 